Hey guys, Rob with Minton State Bushcraft. Every woodsman needs a good saw, right? Well, I found myself in a, in a predicament a couple weeks ago. I was out and all I had was a hatchet and this small pruning saw. I found myself in a position where I needed to buck some bigger logs. So the thought came over me, you know, to ask several people um, in the outdoors community what kind of saw they use. And of course, lots of suggestions reigned in. Well, I've always been partial to making my own things. I like to repurpose things. I, I get a sense of pride of making things. So I decided to make me a homemade buck saw. And I did this out of uh, mop handles. Mop handles, paracord. I bought some hardware and I bought a Fisker's 24 inch plate. Um, relatively easy to do you know and, and most people would rather just go buy their stuff I like to make things so today we're gonna test this out so one of the first things you want to do is you want to make sure that your blade is tensioned pretty good I think I have enough tension on this but if not what you want to do is you want to wind your cord get it really tight I've been told by numerous people that when you think it's tight, tighten it some more. So we're gonna buck this. This is some red oak that we have here. This tree's been falling down, oh, uh, probably three or four years now. And I just wanna see if we can bite in this and, and maybe buck this piece off. Biting in pretty good. <laughs> okay then. Well, as you can see, I was able to buck that with some pretty, uh, pretty, pretty stout stuff. I also uh, made this so you could take it down. Um, wow, that loosened up. You can loosen up the wing nuts and you can take that apart or you can unwind your cord. And when you do, this becomes loose. You could take out your center piece and collapse it. I made it collapsible so it would be compact when I was doing long trips weekend trips. So for less than $10, I built my own buck saw. Now this is gonna take some refinement. I think I could uh, take some grooves here and make sure that, uh, you know, this tightens up a little bit more. I mean, this is pretty, pretty tight here, but I'm pretty sure that if I put a couple notches here in the crossbar, that this would kick the bottom out and it would tighten up the saw. But for the most part, it worked and I'm pretty happy about that. So if you're inclined to make your own things or you like repurposing things, go ahead and try to build yourself a buck saw. Get a sense of pride and accomplishment on building your own things. This is Rob with Mitten State Bushcraft. Until the next time, see ya.